Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Owlboy. Well, the relics, are, they're in, the, their cases are indestructible, so we need to go get the key from, uh, Maelstrom. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Maelstrom, wow. He doesn't have a relic on him this time, so he should be weaker, but we're still going to probably die. This is going to be awful. We are going to die. Oh, poor Otis. He's terrified. Maelstrom. It's really him. Maelstrom. What's this? Did the guards let you in? Prepare yourself. We've come to defeat you. You're here to fight me. But that's right. Very well. I believe you can at least entertain me until the relics are finished charging. Then I will. Huh? What was that? What? All right. No going back after this. <clears throat> Alarm. The relics have been stolen. Get him. Wait, what? Alert the captain. Tell him the owl boy has stolen the relics. <coughs> Repeat. The owl boy has stolen the relics. <coughs> what? That little pest double crossed me. You. He sent you here to strike me. I'm going to destroy all three of you. We're gonna die! Oh my lord, Getty. Master Getty? That's Alpha and Spire thing, no time to chat. Let's get out of here fast. <clears throat> Getty saved our lives, wow. I'm glad I caught him. That was a long fall. Stay safe, Otis. Don't follow me. Master Otis? Who goes there? Otis? Otis, you're awake. I'm sorry, Otis. <clears throat> I should never have left you guys alone. <clears throat> as soon as I got back to Veli, I knew I'd made a mistake. That toy guy, he was just being used by the pirates. I knew that, but I think I wanted someone to blame after I haven't guess you did. I'm glad he realizes that. I made my way up to the pirates and went looking for you straight away. I stole a pirate chopper and everything. I'm surprised you survived on your, on your own. D did you suddenly gain the ability to fly? I'm sorry, I know this touching moment. 
I'm glad I made it in time. Most of them seem furious. Like, enough about this. Twig, Alphonse, Otis is awake. Get in here. Alphonse, how'd you fit through my door? Welcome back, Otis. You're very muscular and buff. I so I don't understand how you fit through the door. You've been asleep for so long now. I want to talk about what to do next, guys. Otis, uh, Alphonse says he saw someone fly off with relics. Indeed, and that someone went flying up past Mesos. We haven't figured out who took the relics yet, but... Whoever took them must have been behind all of this. The pirates were being fed information about the relics. Someone told them to search in Valley in an advent. It would seem that whoever led them to attack these settlements have now finally gotten the relics they wanted. So the pirates were just being used. So if some right indeed, but whoever did this must expect Malmstrom to retaliate. They must be planning to use the relics soon. With the power of the relics, they might even escape Malmstrom's wrath. Is there any way we can get them, get to them before that happens? I don't know. It's impossible to fly past the mesosphere. We would have to find some way to travel out there. With that event destroyed, finding a ship won't be easy. But let's start looking. There's gotta be some way. There's one more thing, Otis. Don't be too disappointed when we get to Feli. Things have changed a bit. Okay. Yeah, let's. I'm not gonna talk to them. Aren't we in Valley now? Thanks for not feeding me, you guys. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, where's my boil- Did you guys drink my boiling pot? Ugh, oh, so disappointing in you. Ah, uh, nature's bounty. Gotta love nature's bounty, guys. Do you guys love nature's bounty? I know I do. Where is everyone? Is er anyone here? <laughs> oh, Otis, I'm so glad you're back. I regret leaving you very much. I'm glad you two are friends again. Hmm. Yes, we're hiding here for the moment. The island seems to be unstable, which of course means there is nowhere to run. I just hope we have enough food to hold out until it settles down. I guess I'll go and see how my former mentor is. <coughs> Otis. You fool. Imbecile. Moron. Leave this place at once. Otis, why have you come back? You should leave now. Otis, please. This place is no longer safe. I can't keep the village from harm. Not me, nor Strix, nor any other owl. We are frail, arrogant, short-sighted, mainly just you, man. If you hadn't left the school, Otis, we have been spared from my own fullest actions this time. 
fly away as far as you can, Otis. Hide yourself from others and never return. Be my final lesson now, so that you may live a little longer. I'm so sorry for everything. Oh, this is really touching, but still he's been very rude. But at least you understand that what you've done. Despite everything, you've been a remarkable student, Otis. Courage is a trait lost on most owls. Belly has been abandoned. The pirates are likely to attack your next. I'm going to stay here in Valley. This is our home. You're living in now. I'll wait for you here. If there's anything I can help you with, then let me know. A way to get back on the mesosphere? I'm not sure. Maybe you can ask the professor. I don't like to admit, but he would probably know better than me. Be careful out there, Otis. Okay. That's that's everything he has to say. <clears throat> Even though he was a really like dickish and very disrespectful. At least he apologized. Some people just would not apologize. Or anything like that. It looks like Otis is grateful that he's apologized for all the harsh words he's shown and is happy that he's that um he's accepted now. That he's been accepted as a good student by him, by uh his mentor. Very happy. Um. Wow. I mean, it it would be nice to. Oh, he wants to stay here in Valley. I mean, it would be nice if he came with us, considering. I still remember him swooping off with the professor at, near the start of the game. He zipped up there with such power. Good gravy. He's strong. Otis, why are you here? You should evacuate. The pirates could strike at any moment. The professor is right. There's even been signs of land masses rising. Something isn't right with the world. <coughs> we need some help, professor. We're tracking someone who might hold the key to saving Valley. Really? Who? We don't know. Whoever is went above the mesosphere before we could catch him. Those can't fly that high. Well, we could perhaps help you get up there. But I don't see why we should. The last time I helped you out, things didn't go so well. Please. We have to do something. Whoever is up there has all three relics. Three relics? You mean the hex relics? You've heard of them? And you know we're not making this up. What are they talking about, Professor? All right, Otis and Getty, let's do a test. Whoever it was, if he went above the mesosphere, he must have had somewhere to go. We should be able to track any landmass up there with my machine. If there's nothing to find up there, there's no reason to believe you. All right, go ahead and check. I'm pretty sure you'll find something. <coughs> Well, would you look at that? They're right. Incredible structure and messes. How can anything even be built so high up? Alright. I can help you get up there. But it will be a dangerous flight. 
If you want to go, you should prepare. Hehehe. <laughs> Make sure you've done everything you need to do. You won't be coming back for a while. Um, let me actually go speak to the professor real quick. Not the professor. The, um... Osseo. Real quick. Just in case he has anything else to say. Oh, wait. No. Uh, pointless. Pointless. Ah. Text. Alright, now let me go to Tropos real quick and grab whatever is left that I can. I'm assuming this is basically near the end of the game. <laughs> okay. Oh, dang it. Guess not. Sucks, but oh well. Alright. Okay. Alright. Um, go on time ish. Let's do this. Great structure above the skies. I almost wish I could come with you, Otis. It must be quite a sight. Alright, let's do this. Ready to go, buddy? We're gonna die. Alright, I'll meet you outside. You're gonna shoot me up with a can, aren't you? I've been looking forward to this. Hee hee hee. I can only assume with the t current technology you're just gonna shoot me out of cannon. Honestly. <laughs> oh lord. So here we are. Remember there will be no going back. Are you sure you're ready for this, Otis? Yes. Good. Excuse us. We would all like to come along, Madam Cornell. That's right. That's his friends, are you? Can they just stay here and then teleport up there? Wait a second. Aren't you? Not now, Professor. Alfonso's a pirate and I caused some trouble here. But we're here to help now. Yes, yes, no need for that. You're all welcome to come along. We're all here, so let's get going. Yes. Huh? Where are we traveling in? Oh, you'll see. Professor, is everything ready? Yes. The radar gave us some coordinates saying for so we should make it. Assuming your invention works, can I know. Excellent. Assuming. Wait, what? I should probably repeat this will be dangerous. Should we go get Asu and the other villagers? Then they can see you off. I don't think so. They might try to stop us. I don't think we want to be part on bad terms. Alright. In that case, it's not to worry. I would honestly take, be willing to have them come over. They're not going to stop us. Board, board what? You mean this tall building here? Yes. Get in. We're traveling in this thing? Looks like it can't even move. Quiet fools. You are about to witness my true genius. Years of work will all boil down to this moment. Get in. We're doing lads before she changes her mind. Quickly now. <laughs> I am really scared. It is time. Prepare yourselves. All systems are ready. Detach. Ignition. Oh my lord, it's a rocket. Lift off. Haha. <laughs> I knew it would work. Good luck, you guys. Bong go man.
Oh my lord. And that's an uh, epic moment, but I drank way too much fire. Hurry up, Rocket. Okay. Oh no. Lewis, are you alright? <clears throat> oh man, you had me worried there. You okay, man? Can you fly? Oh, did you break something? Mm, no, I don't think he has. The air in this place is very thin. Too thin to fly in. Oh man, we're stuck up here. Not exactly. We should explore this place. Catch your breath, Master of Skeddy Twig. Let's scout ahead. Yes, sir, alright. So I guess you could say, if we ever want to get back down, we just drop down and boom, we'll be fine. Alright guys, that's the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all again next time.